So let's start right now with a C major arpeggio. Now I mean by an arpeggio, you're playing these chords which are on your diagrams in the book all the way up the neck of your banjo to the 22nd fret. Listen carefully as I demonstrate the C major arpeggio. And then I want you to practice this until you can do it very, very easily. Your chord changes become easy because each finger is represented on each diagram in the book. So you know exactly where to put your fingers on each chord. Here's your C major chord. Now we'll play the arpeggio. I'm on the 22nd fret of my banjo neck right now. And I'm hitting each string slowly so that you can hear it. That's the C major arpeggio. Now I want you to practice those chord formations until you can do it exactly the same way I'm doing it. Now just for fun, let's go to F, the key of F. Let's do an F major arpeggio for you. Same fingerings that are on your diagrams, so follow them carefully. Look, look those diagrams over carefully before you put the record on with me giving these demonstrations to you. Now I'll go backwards on the neck. I'm on the 22nd fret right now on an F major arpeggio. One of the things that I do that perhaps you don't, didn't know is I try not to lift my fingers off the neck when I'm changing from chord to chord, if possible. But with you just starting, uh, you perhaps will have to lift your fingers and be careful and see that each finger is on the right string for each chord. <laughs> 